Therefore go and make disciples of all nations. This has been the driving force of Bishop Dr. Jackson Mdama Wambua, the senior pastor of Deliverance Church Kakamega for the last 42 years since God called him into the full-time ministry. Bishop Wambua is married to Bishop Zipporah Mdama and he is a father of four and a grandfather to several grandchildren. Bishop is a man of many beginnings and God has used him to plant churches in the larger North Rift and Kenya at large. He has also written several books, among them Eschatology, Similar but Different, and Transforming Lives. And uh, for the last 18 years, that was uh, up to last year 2022, in the month of July, I've been a regional overseer of deliverance churches in the national North Lift region, which comprised of 11 counties, namely Busia County, Bungoma County, Kakamega County, Viga County, Nandi County, Wasiningishu, Okeyo Marakwet, Baringo County, Bungoma, Transoya, West Pokot, and Turkana. Those who are uh, 11 counties that have been a region of Asia for the last 18 years. Then time came for the multiplication because the region was too expansive. According to the recommendation of Deliverance Governing Council, DCC, four regions were multiplied out of the larger North Rift region. And these four regions are uh, the North Lake region, which comprises of Busia County, and we have the new North Lift region, which is uh, uh, the region of Asia, is uh, Isaac Omtai. Then we have the Western region, Wanda, Reverend Jackson Ongeri. And we have the Northwest Lift region under Reverend Dr. Tom Gewa. And the Busia one is under Reverend Gedeon Wanyama. And from there, Bishop Pombua decided voluntarily to retire from being a regional overseer so that he can follow and execute the vision that God gave him. And therefore, from this particular time, I'm more transisting from actually being just a, a regional overseer, but I want to be to remain to be the senior pastor of my local church in Kakamega. And also at the same time, I begin an evangelistic ministry that is called GELO. GELO, Global Evangelistic and Leadership Outreach, will be involved in reaching out to the rural evangelism and training leaders of all levels, among others. Yeah, in the GELO, we have a big vision. And the vision is to reach out to communities with the gospel of Jesus Christ. And our mission is to organize for outreaches, to also reach out in the rural areas with the gospel of Jesus Christ. Also, we'd like to engage the community in the uh, community engagement development activities and also to train leaders for the glory of God. Because my PhD is actually in uh, organizational and transformational leadership. And I would like actually to disseminate that knowledge to the body of Jesus Christ. Also in the Gelo, we have our motivation. Our motivation, which is our conviction, is that we would like to train the leaders and build the church of Jesus Christ and cause uh, some uh, church growth. The objective for Gelo will be, first of all, for us to reach out to communities with the gospel of Jesus Christ. Number two, would like to have 10 meetings. Number three, would like to, uh, to train leaders of all levels. Number four, would like to multiply, uh, to, uh, to multiply even the body of Jesus Christ in a big way in strengthening the leaders and the local congregation. Number four, would like us also to mobilize for resource mobilization. Number five, we'd like to partner together with the local churches all over, wherever we shall go in the rural area, for cause the church growth in those areas. And lastly, we'd like to network together with the entire board of Jesus Christ and the ministers so that we can build up and cause a great church growth. For the ministry to be successful, the following equipments are needed. One large tent that can carry 400 seats, one small tent that can carry 50 seats, 400 chairs, 
a public address system and a truck. And therefore, I'm making appeal to all of my friends and any other person that you value evangelism for the rural and also to grow the Church of Jesus Christ and to train leaders because that is a great need in the church of training leaders. Please stand with me financially and sponsor me so that I can be able to fulfill the vision that I am carrying. Therefore, I would like to invite all of you to come and uh, be together with me in my vision. I want to really to appreciate, as I'm finishing, all of my family members, my four children, that's Jack Junior Mutua, Timothy Modama, uh, David Muringe, and Faith Makesiki Modama, together with my wife, uh, Bishop Sibora Modama, for them to have stood with me all the time that I've been a minister. And I believe also we shall continue going along together with them in serving God in this new evangelistic arm of Deliverance Church, Kakamega, which is called Gelo. Otherwise, I want to appreciate all of my leaders that they have been together with me. I want to appreciate Bishop George Kechana together with Mama Yudia. I want to appreciate Bishop Mark Karioki. I want to appreciate Bishop Simon Kanyaro. I want to appreciate Bishop Jimmy Kimani. I appreciate Bishop Paul uh, uh, Oselu. I want to appreciate even Bishop J.B. Masinde. And also I appreciate the, the late Bishop Benjamin Kipruto, whom we buried two days ago. May the Lord richly bless the Liberal Church Kakamega because of standing together with me and all the executive members of the former North Lift region that I worked together with you. I don't forget your courtesy, your friendship, and your partnership in the ministry. Others, may God richly bless you abundantly. I also wanted to appreciate the team which has been putting together the things of this homecoming and the gelo, the launch of gelo, which is led by Humphrey Brady and the entire team. God bless you, my pastor team of Delma Church Kakamega. May the Lord bless you. Bye-bye.